I'm going to show how to clean a Little Giant condensate pump. This one is a model VCMA15ULS. I live in the northeastern United States and I find that I need to clean my pump about every two years. The water inside of the reservoir and on the float and the pump tend to gunk up after a while and they could clog up the pump or the one-way valve. If you live in a humid climate, you'll probably need to do this more frequently. Turn off power to your air conditioning unit or furnace. Remove power to the condensate pump. Mine's directly wired into a switch. It's possible that yours will be plugged into an outlet Remove the drain line from the check valve. If the opening beside the drain valve is not used, pull the cover off of it, then remove the hose and drain it into the reservoir. If you can't direct the drain line water into the reservoir, catch it in a cup. Remove the screw from the top cover. Push the cover towards the check valve and lift up. If the pump is directly wired like this one, the connections will have to be removed at the pump. Be absolutely sure that you have power turned off the pump before removing the connections. Some pumps may have an additional high level float and safety switch. The leads to the safety switch could be connected to a alarm or perhaps the thermostat circuit of your furnace or air conditioner. Before disconnecting these wires, verify that there is no voltage on them. By the way, if you find this video helpful, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Next, remove the condensate pump from the side of the furnace. There's two tabs on either side of the reservoir. These tabs can break off if you aren't careful, so be gentle. Support the bottom of the reservoir with your hand and remove the two screws. Lower the unit from the furnace. Use a 14 millimeter wrench to turn the one-way valve counterclockwise. Remove the top of the pump from the reservoir by prying underneath the tab. Clean the reservoir, the pump inlet, and the float with mild soap and water and a soft brush. Don't get any water on the pump motor. There's a pin that holds the main float in place. Be careful that it doesn't drop out when you're cleaning. If you don't want to remove the float, I suggest putting a piece of tape over it. If you do want to remove the float, be very careful that you don't bend the arm on the micro switch. Clean the one-way valve by either blowing air through it. Air will only pass this direction if the valve's working properly. Or you could just run some warm soapy water through it or just blow through it. After you're finished cleaning, reassemble the pump. Fasten it to the side of the furnace. Reconnect the wiring. If there was a safety switch, reconnect the wiring to it. Reconnect the drain line. 
reinstall the cover turn power back on there's one more additional step that you can do because there's no way of accessing the impeller of the pump you can add water to the reservoir and maybe a half a cup of vinegar and keep on adding water and let the pump run that mixture through it. I hope you found this video helpful. Click on the channel name Know How Now for other videos and thanks for watching.